Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and welcome to part one of my playthrough of the Scarlet and Violet DLC, The Teal Mask. It is a dark and stormy night, deep within Lag Tree Thicket, and I have received a phone call. Hello, hello, Michael! This is Jacques. Hi, Mr. Jacques. Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. Oh, I found it in this very spot, but we'll get to that later. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it, Michael? Your name was one of the ones chosen to attend. <gasps> I have protagonist luck. I'll get to go study and experience the great outdoors off to the east in the land of Kitakami. It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You really are a lucky one getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. Of course, you don't have to take part, but this kind of chance isn't likely to come again, so you should really give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. Well, I'm certainly interested, Jacques, but there's some preparations I need to make. One of the preparations I should have made before home maintenance started was um, moving Pokemon into Pokemon Home. Uh, I can, like, maybe catch, like, one box of Pokemon. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm, very, I'm so full from all the John Michael Cup videos that have been recorded. But I can catch some Pokemon, so I'm not in immediate danger. But the first thing I need to do is put this failings back. It was a random thing. I got to prove a point. Uh, and then, where is it? Aha, uh -huh, there he is, my treasure, like I'm sure so many others. I caught a shiny Applin so that I could make it a shiny Diplin, which I'm very excited to do. And the other thing I'm going to do for now is toss team members of mine into the party. However, they're not going to stay there. My team is level 100 or close to it, which would make most of the DLC stuff super boring. So basically as soon as possible when I get there, I'm gonna be trying to catch a new team of Pokemon. Pretty much just using Pokemon that are found in the DLC. Wait a second, I saw in the patch notes. Oh, they finally fixed the box lag. It's not instant, but it's not what it was before where I actually had to sit and wait. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Anyways, entrance hall. Go, go, get on the, there you go. I haven't set foot inside this building in some time. <gasps> the spooky woman. Mr. Jock said the students for the school trip would be around here. Hello, ma'am. Your eyes burn through my body. Hmm, are you? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was? Michael, ma'am. Michael, huh? Well, aren't you a polite one? You're positively dazzling. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, and you even have a Terra Orb. Well, of course I do. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to be a common sight at school. Unless that's not the case. Are you perhaps an ex especially exceptional student? I think I'm exceptional. God, your eyes are spooky. Oh, but here I go on and on. And I haven't even introduced myself. Call me Miss Briar. I'm sorry, I'm late. Uh, it's probably Briar, not... Briar, but with all the eyes, it looked like Brie. Oh, hello to you too, Michael. What a lucky scamp you are getting to take part in a school trip so soon after transferring here. Sir, it's been almost a year. I sure I'm happy for you. I wish I could go too. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar. I got a bit carried away. Well, as Mr. Jacques so kindly stated for me, my name is Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blubbery Academy. That's a school in the Unova region. What? A twist. I had no idea the Blubbery Academy was in Unova. That's some fun lore. She helped set the curriculum there. This year, Blubbery's Academy turned blah, blah. This year is Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. The place is a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy present in Paltea's terrassal phenomenon has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, uh, yeah, well, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League and Director Clavel. Oh, I know. I've already put in all the proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable response soon? Uh, well, hmm. What is Jacques gonna do? He's just a teacher. Oh, sorry, Michael. Forgot all about you for a moment there. This, this chick's up to something. She's wearing a, a violet book shirt, scarlet book pants, terrestrial phenomenon ears, <laughs> earrings, spooky eyes. 
Special update to my Pokedex app. That sounds fantastic. The Kitakami Pokedex was added to your Pokedex app. Look at that. And there we go, all done. Now you can go wild registering all the Pokemon you find around Kitakami too. Oh, and don't worry about a permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things with your mom. Thanks, mom. All right. Now, how are we gonna get there? <laughs> your Mr. Jock is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. Now then, Michael, it's quite a trip to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? I'm ready, let's go. Ma'am, I'm ready. I've never been more ready for anything. Are you ready to set out for Kitakami? Yes, I am! We'll set out together as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you were all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this may be the first time you meet. I know my role is to chaperone you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun of my own while I'm at it. Just so you're aware. By the way, do you know of the Scarlet Book? I know it. As you should, it was the most influential book of the century on the subject of the paranormal. The author of the Scarlet Book, Heath, was in fact an ancestor of mine. Ah, it explains her interest. I even have his original manuscript. Oh, that's cool. Well, she just whipped that out with telekinesis. <laughs> Look here. These are the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. Oh my God. A disc Pokemon. While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. So that's Terrapagos. I tentatively named the creature Terrapagos. <laughs> wow, thanks. I suspect its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Terrapagos. I know that we've, I, the, you are now the third person to say that. He allegedly encountered when he delved even further into the depths, not that the general public believed him. It's my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's record, records were all true. Though I haven't yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. I don't recall needing it myself, but that's fine. It'll all be fine. All I need to do now is focus on the work that's in front of me. Miss Briar, we're ready to go. Hello, fellow children. Why does that kid with the glasses look actually kind of buff? There are only four of us? And you gotta have really good grades to get to go to Kitakami. Oh, I like the little plane. Oh, and a Dragonite. That's so cute. Dragonite's hella fast. <gasps> a title sequence. The teal. Wow, here we are. We're finally here! My butt's killed me after all those hours sitting. First the plane, then that bus. <laughs> well, you all survived the long trip. We won't have lost anyone along the way. All here, all four of us. Welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is the stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Look at them. It's actually my first time here too, why the rice fields really are just dazzling. Look at all the regular whoopers. Well, Jotonian. Up ahead is Mossui Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. M Miss Briar, I don't, I don't feel so good. Peter! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's gonna start turning to dust! <laughs> oh, all that trouble also giving you a dose of motion sickness or Thanos elsewhere in the world snapped. I don't want to pause here for a moment and take in the side of these fields. And Michael, I have a little request for you. Did you ever run ahead to the community center in Mossui and let the caretaker know we're here? It would also be great if you could explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. I can do that. Why does Pokemon give you dialogue options with the same answers? Now, if I open the map, press the L or R button while the map app is open to switch between different maps. Oh, all right. And you can fast travel between both of them. That's nice. I wonder how big is it compared to Scarlet or compared to Paldea? I, it's it's gotta be smaller. Mossweetown, Kitakami Hall, Fellhorn Gorge, Timeless Woods. Okay. Paradise Barrens, huh. Kind of fun. Pujana! Sawaddle! It's time to catch stuff. Hello, small dog. Oh, this music is fun. Gotta get that Pokedex filled up. That didn't work? Oh! They fixed it! They finally fixed it! For, so for those of you who are not aware or didn't notice, when if it did not do the crit capture shake, you knew that you failed the capture, but it appears that they patched that out. Also, Poochyena looks different. They they had to have changed its model and Team Sky would be so thrilled. Maybe Team Sky will be. I can claim a reward for the progress I've made in my Kitakami Pokedex. My Kitakami Pokedex now contains 90 volumes. Poochyena accounted for 90? Okay, uh, what is that one? A Razor Fang. Oh, to evolve Gligar. Sweet. All right, let's get Yanma. Yanma is huge. I did not know Yanma was that big. I gotta, I gotta catch a few Pokemon here, figure out which ones I want to use for my, uh, my Kitakami team beyond Diplin. 
I could use Gliscor, you know, big fan of Gliscor, uh, but I have used it a ton. <laughs> Yanma's eyes look cool. I already have regular Wooper. Sawaddle I do not have. I believe this is Sawaddle's first time on the Switch. I'm pretty sure it was one of the few, the proud, the Marines, that had yet to actually be in any game on the Switch. Some of the other ones were the Unova starters, but we know those are coming in uh, Indigo Disc. These aren't giving as much experience to Applin as I would hope. That feels good to fill in the Pokedex. Oh my God, Pugiana, how dare you? Yeah, it's, it's teeth look bigger. I don't know, maybe I just haven't seen 3D Poochiena in a long time, but it's bottom teeth look huge. And I'm supposed to go to Mossway Town and I will make my way there. But there are goodies to pick up. Cutie fly? Cutie fly shown on the mini map. I didn't see a cutie fly. Oh, and Spinarak, I gotta get Spinarak. <laughs> the question, question, question. By the way, uh, I don't know if I've ever actually introduced it, but this shiny breloom here is Rushi. There's a type of mushroom called like a, it's like R-E-U-S-H-I, Roishi. And also, uh, Breloom is part kangaroo, so it's a great nickname. Thank you, I appreciate the compliment. Come on. You are aggressive. I'm starting to get more annoyed with you than Team Sky would. Lots of Yanma. Oh, Corefish, I didn't get Corefish. I can't ride Coridon right now. Why not? It's fine, I can still reach it. Hit! Ha ha! It worked! <laughs> Come here, Carfish! Nice. All right, we're 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 pumping up these numbers. Okay. I, I had to do that to get up onto these ledges without Coridon. Oh, dang it. Well, now I'm over in the mud. Traversal mechanics are so funny sometimes. Oop! Well. Did I get trapped? <laughs> Oh no, I'm good. All right, this has been fun, but the fact that I can't use Coridon yet is uh, cramping my style. And also I want to figure out how to evolve Applin. <laughs> That's a big goal of mine. Some people. All right, oh look, there they are. Greetings, siblings. Sis, look, there's one now. I sprinted over here. So you're one of the students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Whoa, way cool. Hush, Kieran, I'm Carmen. I think that's how it's pronounced, I, I Googled it. Sorry, but I can't just let an outsider like you wander into Moss Sweet Town. What? If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. Dang it, I didn't want to have to battle, do any battles. <sighs> I wanted to get a new team and not do any major battles, but like without Coridon, I'm so limited. C come on, sis, you just want to battle. You in this big fuss over nothing? Told you to hush, KK! <laughs> just ignore my little brother. Oh man. All right, let's do this. Get in position. I guess I'm just gonna body you with my level 100 Breloom. I'm so pissed. <laughs> gonna have some real good fun with you. Ooh, spooky. Oh, her eyes. Literally Pujiana. What level is it? Welcome to Kitakami for your first experience. Get ready to eat dirt. I like her. She's got spice. It's level 60. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm gonna... I think I basically need to immediately just put all the Pokemon I just caught in my party. <laughs> oh, you know about time matchups, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> this is so late game. Why are you still doing this dialogue? Vulpix, are all her Pokemon dogs? Ultra Geist. <sighs> I'll stay current. I love this little jerk. Sorry I have to KO you. Bye bye. Her eyes are like predatory. You, who are you? $3,000. Wowzers, you wouldn't beat my sis? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. <laughs> She's like Nimona, but like a sore loser. <laughs> Fine, I guess you pass. Barely. I've got no choice. I'll let you into town, but only if you become one of my grunts and do every little thing I- Oi! What are you doing causing a ruckus out here? I don't know why I made him Scottish. Or Irish. Not great at those accents, I'll admit, but uh, now I've committed. Uh, here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki, we're out of here. But I- but, uh, Wait up! <laughs> Hello. Hello there, stranger. Must be one of the students from that Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Mossy Town. A fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. Those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now, were they? Yes. <laughs> they were. <laughs> Hardly know what to do with the two of them, especially that Carmen. Always been a handful, that one. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. What's that? A member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop? Better get over there and give them a hand so they can make it into town. 
I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled in that community center. Catch up with you soon. Okay, bye. Uh, well, let's get the new ones in here. Where did they get dropped? <laughs> okay, Yanma. Sawaddle? So this is not going to be a good team. I really hope that I don't battle anything in the near future. Orfish? <laughs> Where did that Poochiena go? There it is. Wow, look at this. Look at this unstoppable team I've formed. Um, good, good God. Uh, change moves. An attack lowering core fish. This is a disaster. Definitely don't need takedown. Uh, rearrange. Crunch first. And a speed lowering Yanma. <laughs> well, I could teach an ancient power so it'll evolve next time it levels up. You know Bug Buzz? You don't know Bug Buzz! But you do. Okay, you actually have a pretty good nature. You get Shadow Sneak? Why do you get Shadow Sneak? All right, well, now I have this team. This is team of unevolved Pokemon. New TM's here. Hello, different uh, nurse, who is so casual. She's got attitude. All righty. Uh, I am, uh, well, all right, I'll look at him. Okay, now filter for learnable moves. Well, okay, X to select it, okay. Are there new ones? Oh yeah, there's the, uh, there's some of the Isle of Armor ones. Flip turn, burning, jealousy, grassy glide, dual wing beat, poltergeist, last shot, misty explosion, and scale shot. Cool. Oh, what was that? Okay, I just got too close to the door, apparently. <laughs> Sway everyone. Oh wait, no, he was Scottish. This way everyone. I know it's not good. All right, let's just have fun. Michael, I owe you one for fetching the caretaker. Our little travel buddy is feeling much better now too. All right, everyone, this is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. Plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together, but it turns out this space is going to be all for you. Our visitors from Naranha Academy. Oh, right, those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? Ah, Carmen and uh, Kieran are Kitakami natives. I like the symbol on the caretaker's shirt. Well, yeah, this is a community center. Um, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in there. The Rex is ready to start to rinse off the worst of the mud using the washing station by the door. Oh, look at that little chingling, uh, cake, salad. Oh, it's all newly built. This here's the lounge. You can watch TV, chat, or relax however you like. Oh, that you watch TV here, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, over there's the cafeteria. Toilets are down that way. If you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall there. You got enough space that each of you can have a private room to yourself. I think that about covers everything, but if you run that in trouble at all, don't trust it to talk to our fine staff at the desk. Cool. All right, kids, do you have anything to say to the staff who will be taking such good care of us? We're glad to be here. Sure. Yeah! A bunch of well-mannered students. I can already tell you, are going to be wonderful visitors. Do you th just think of this place as your own home, away from home, and relax. Why don't we have dinner, then call it a night? Oh, all right, sure. It's kind of hoping to get some kind of experience. You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like in the community center, but remember that tomorrow, the program will officially be kicking off. How thrilling! Don't stay up too late or you might oversleep. Can I, am I allowed to leave? I am not allowed to leave. A boy's restroom. This is the girl's restroom. Oh, the, the Pikachu tails. Those colors are not the colors commonly associated with those genders in America. I guess they do it differently over in Kitakami. Hello, ma'am, what do you do? Special service. If you open your bag and whatnot while you've been here, you might have noticed that the theme of the upper and lower borders of your screen in some menus now. <laughs> you wanna change the setting for the upper and lower borders on your menus? Uh. The leak, they can stay the same. Open my bag. Oh, no, that's that's super cool. Why would I want to change that? All right, well, let's just go to bed. Not much else to do. I'm trapped in a prison of a community center lobby. Good morning. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Go on, kids, time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmen. It's a pleasure to meet you all at... It's a pleasure to meet all you outsiders. I mean, visitors from Paldea, hee <laughs> hee. I'm... I'm Kieran. Carmen and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. You two had better be of real help! You hear me? Aye, aye. R right Now that that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? This school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering! Ah, back to my old Boy Scout days. Love you split into pairs, then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you've completed the task, we ask that each part take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. 
Take a photo together in front of each of the three signboards to complete your mission. A self-guided tour of Kitagami. Learn all about its rich history. All right, let's do it. A gift. The Roto Stick. The old man gives me a selfie stick. Press the X button while in selfie mode to use your Roto Stick. It adds some extra distance. Cool. And they're all the rage of the big cities. Even teach you a rad pose. What? Okay. Ah, oh, yes, real rad. <laughs> Remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle! Am I gonna be with Carmen or Kieran? And their very strange hair. Do I get to pick? We'll talk to the... God, she's so tall! You're Michael or whatever, right? Let me guess, you wanna pair up with one of us poor, lonely, blueberry students? Yeah! Gosh, it's so sweet of you to go out of your way like that. What would we ever do without you? Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. Does he think I'm cool? I thrive off of attention. He won't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Sis, what are you telling him that for, dummy? Hey, what should you call dummy if you know what's good for you? Oh man, look at him being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like a battle with you. Okay! <laughs> well, you know, turns out you're sort of nice. This will make my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki! Mikey said, blah, what is my name? I will battle you. What? Wowzers, really? You don't mind? Doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everybody else, clear out. Make some space. I got this. Okay, well, now I'm battling with all the unevolved Pokemon, so I really hope he also has unevolved Pokemon. He's got a little mole on his neck. All right, I can deal with a Sentret. Wowzers, I can't believe this. I get to battle you. This is awesome. Tis, brother. 59. I can handle this. I can definitely handle this. Amnesia. What do you need to forget? All right, then I'll just wing attack. Oh, yeah. How oh, that's no experience at all. A Yanma battle? Why did I get so little experience? Oh no, cut through the wind! His is faster! Well. This is what I wanted. Oh wow, this team is extremely weak to a Yanma. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, buddy, really need you to land this crab hammer. In those Giga Drain! <laughs> oh, I have messed up. Messed up real bad. I did not think I was gonna get another one like this. Puchiana, you're my only hope. Oh, it doesn't resist it. Sucker punch. Oh my God. Buzz those wings. I'm about to get bug buzz to oblivion, aren't I? Yep. I have made significant errors in judgment. <laughs> uh, crap. <laughs> What happens if you lose to him? I could terastalize here. Thus no longer being weak to flying. Okay. I feel like I'm still not gonna take the hits very well though. Air cutter. I lived the hit though. Oh! I might have a chance. Shadow sneak. No! No! Ah! <laughs> uh, well, what have we learned today, folks? Don't get too excited about using the new Pokemon, or at least make sure they evolve first. Yep. That's uh. This is over. Applin's only level twenty something, and. A Sawaddle ain't beating a Yanma. Uh. <laughs> well, all right, time to find out what happens if you lose this battle. Now, is it gonna reset me or are they just gonna be like, oh my God, I won. Yeah, yeah, I know. $6,000? Good show. 
Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know each other. Okay, it seems like the results are the same regardless. I bet you're something else when you're not holding back, Michael. Oh, all right, he's aware. He's aware that I was not at my full strength. You really aren't that half. You really aren't half. Blah, blah. You really aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. I don't know about that. It's an orienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki then. What? No, sis, don't. Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other rando outsider instead of Michael? No, but, uh, oh man. Don't worry, he's just being shy. I'll go find some chump to pair up with too. Watch out for my little bro, you. Girl, you kind of nuts. Looks like you're all paired up. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those Rotom phones of yours. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. If you find yourself in need of any potions or Pokeballs, head on that way to stop by Beachies. They'll be happy to set you to rights. Uh, so it looks like we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. Stop past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. Apple orchards? Could that be where I could find the item needed to create my Diplin? It's close by, and I figured it might have make sense to, you know, visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your way if I stick too close. I'll just uh, follow you from a safe distance. That poor shy kiddo. Well, um, I am not letting anybody evolve uh, naturally anymore. <laughs> uh, you all, you all are getting evolved. I thought maybe like, oh, I'll just like catch some Pokemon in some battles. It'll happen naturally. That sucked. <laughs> get it on Poochiena too. I swear they made the bottom teeth bigger. Look at the glorious beast. He looks kind of derpy when you can't see his teeth. <laughs> Plus, you know, good to get the Pokedex. Snarl. Uh, nah. Corfish. Get us a Crawdown. I do need other Pokemon, though. This team is insanely weak to flying. And Bug. All right. Spinarak and then Swaddle I can only evolve once because it needs friendship. And it's probably not too hyped on me right now after that last battle. Where I just sent it in and it got bodied. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> it really is just a ball under there. Okay. And now I need to change moves, probably. What? Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, how do you not have bug buzz? Speed lowering nature. That speed boost. Boo. Pass the orchard. Is this the orchard? Wait, I can claim a reward on the Pokedex already? Oh, nice. A love ball. Apple Hills. Now, here's my problem. To get Diplin, I probably need an item called a candy apple, which I feel like is not gonna be something I'm just gonna find sitting around, you know what I mean? Oh, hey, a bell sprout. What up, little bell boy? Nice. Unfortunately, grass types aren't that helpful because I want to use Diplin. But it is also so weak right now until I get the evolution item. Sentret, I should catch the Sentret too. Oh, a Fomantis. That's in normal Paldea, so I don't care about that. Come on, give it to me for free. It's supple tail is well muscled and firm to the touch. Ooh. Apple Orchard. Where is the item for Diplin? An Ekans. Greetings. I'll be capturing you now, snake boy. Slithery snack, please. Nice. It can freely detach its jaw to swallow large prey. Yeah, that's pretty standard for a snake. All right. Starly, Swaddle, TM. New day. Tart Apple. That is not what I need, right? Tart, a Tart Apple is the one that does a, a, that that does Flapple. Yeah. Tart Apple, Sweet Apple. I definitely need like a candy apple, but it's like, I'm not gonna find a candy apple lying around like someone's got to make that and i'm worried i've got to like progress the story far enough to like activate like a festival or something someone else will figure it out before i do it and put it on the internet but i played this i i started this recording like right after the uh right after the patch was pushed pikachu the wistful fields to loyalty plaza that's where i'm headed and there's no way he's gonna make me battle again right away right like that wouldn't happen Loyalty Plaza. Oh, it's kind of lovely. Where's our boy? That's the first signboard. What up, buddy? So sorry, did I startle you? Did mention that I'd hang back and follow you here. We're supposed to read the signboard, right? I can't read that. I already know the whole story, so go ahead, you should check it out. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okie Dogie, Monkey Dory, and Pheasantipity all happened to be there as well. The three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and sent it back to the mountain. 
Wait, they died? <laughs> in admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title, The Loyal Three. The remains were given a proper burial, and statues of the three were erected above the site. Damn, they died. But don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? You think? Come on, it was all alone. Oh, the battle was three against one, but the ogre still managed to hold his own. That's way cool. Oh, but I guess most people wouldn't just like an, think an ogre like that is scary, huh? there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up into the mountains so many times at night, all on my own, but I never once met that ogre. The only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Uh, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone, could you? Sure. The boys, he's so awkward. <laughs> that turned out great, you're even good at taking photos. Thanks, so sorry, not trying to butter you up or anything. Oh, relax, Karen, you poor traumatized child. You know, I didn't want to have to come to do this whole school trip thing, but well, it that actually be kind of fun. I get to be out in nature around my hometown and talk to you, Michael. Hey, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? Yo! <laughs> There's Karidon. What is that thing? Some kind of kaiju or something? He's a nerd. I like it. Uh, a kaiju? This is Karidon. Called Karidon? You ride on it, huh? <laughs> I've never seen another Pokemon like this. It seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich. Never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. Why are you so strong, Michael? You're you're special. Oh, special enough to get a subscriber. <clears throat> so the next, or uh, uh, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. Kitakami Hall is well. First, double back to town from here. Then there's this bridge you cross, and from there you'll need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang back now for now and meet you there later. Sounds good. Now, what's over here? Are, do any Pokemon spawn here? Doesn't seem like that. It's like a park. A bucket? Nothing to do with that. Oh! <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> okay, they don't let you go back, but you just... zoopity doop <laughs> Oh, Scarlet and Violet. Toxic. Yeah, plenty of other apples. But where is the candy one? Pick up the item. If you're naughty, oh my god. <laughs> Spinarag and Fomantis. So far, I've caught every Pokemon I've encountered. I would love to evolve Applin, like, in this first episode so then I can use my cool shiny Applin the rest of the game. Or the rest of the DLC, I mean. No. Oh, there's a little Pichu. I just, I wonder if anybody's figured it out yet in the, what has it been, hour and a half since the patch went live? Cool if I could figure it out myself. Anyone selling anything? Lady, you selling anything? Wait, buy clothing? Oh, just socks and gloves. Okay, I don't care about socks and gloves. Let me see if anybody's figured out how to evolve it. I found one tweet of someone who said, that they evolved theirs, and they neglected to say how. <laughs> Wait, is that Jacques? Wait, I thought you couldn't come. Oh, hello, hello, Michael. Enjoyed that school trip, are you? Why are you? I came to check out how you're doing. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. Once I got here, I decided to do a bit of research on the Pokemon of Kitakami, and... Uh... Oh, that's right, sorry. I got so engrossed in my own research that I actually forgot to come find you, didn't I? Well, how about I made it up for it by treating you to a picnic? I thought something like this might happen, so I borrowed all the usual picnic things from from Director Clavel. Well, we're having a picnic. Dig in, I hope you like the sandwich I made. Yeah, look a bit strange, but I can assure you it tastes great. I don't get out much, so this kind of field work sure wears me out quick. Can't believe you how you kids run all over the place for your treasure hunt, you're really something. Oh, could there be something in my basket? Uh... Is there? Oh! An egg! Quite the mystery, isn't it? I only brought gulp into this picnic with me, and yet... Did you put the egg in the basket? I can't get anything past you, can I, Michael? <laughs> you trickster. You know about the Pokemon eggs you can find during picnics, right? Yes, of course I do. Say, wouldn't it be better to have a great trainer raise the Pokemon instead? All right, uh, sure, I'll take the egg. Okay, I have been filling it, yep. All right, okay, well, let me get the egg. Oh, wild fur 
spirit! A powerful, worm-like beast! Come on. I don't know what I'm gonna do if this doesn't work. Okay. We'll add the fur to the party, sure. Whoa! Five star ice type victory bell! I'm gonna do this raid, are you kidding? Just gonna challenge it alone, cause it's a five star raid and I have a level 100 Koridon. <laughs> I'm gonna use the level 100s for raids. Like, I think that's fine. I'm realizing setting up sun might assist it cause it could have chlorophyll. But whatever. Two sword stances should be sufficient. Trailblaze all day, victory bell. Oh, nice! How did poison point work on the- Oh, it's not poison type, of course! <laughs> Terrestrialization. Oh my god, I just set up, you jerk! All right, and now collision course. There we go. Took a second, but we got it. Uh, I'm just gonna use an ultra ball. I haven't done this in a bit. Spin move! There we go. Got a victory bell. Cool. I'm pleased. Well, I guess I could keep progressing in the story a little bit. Osfell Confluence. What a name. Hollywag! Glorious! You would be wonderful for my Kitakami team. Assuming your nature doesn't suck. Huzzah! I know PM7's got the frog stuff, but like, I like frogs too. Not as much. Not a great nature. Oh wait, we have, what am I saying? We have nature mints. All right, let's get, let's get, let's just make this thing a polyrath just immediately. Uh, rare candy. Cause uh, polytoad's gonna require somebody else. Um, and it's almost 10 o'clock at night. I ain't got no one else. Poly whirl, all righty, all righty, all righty. Yeah, let's do polyrath, get a cool fighting type up in here. And then I'm pretty sure I don't need to worry about, like, level 59, I don't need to worry about, like, not learning level up moves, right? Cerebi's not updated, oh no! Because it came out so recently! On Gen 8, Polyrath. Oh, gets a ton of moves that you can remember. Oh my goodness. Polyworld, get any moves that I care about? No. Let's just water stone this boy. Well, first I'm gonna do this. Right, because Polyrath, Polyrath's a physical attacker, right? It is a, it is a fighting type. Those tend to be the physical attackers. 95 versus 70, yeah. Yeah, actually I'm gonna go for a jolly one. Do I have a jolly one? I don't have a jolly one, Never mind. <laughs> now where are your water stones? There's one. Yeah, buffalo frog. Dynamic punch. Uh, sure. I feel like I'm gonna want something better. It has belly drum though. I love belly drum. I love belly drum. Let's teach you some better moves. Holy crap. You do not get good ones by level up. Oh, good thing I have TMs. Like liquidation. Waterfall. Waterfall's a very good one. Uh, do I have a fighting move that I can learn besides? Oh, there's liquidation. Okay, I had that option too. Well, the flinch is still fine. Do I have any fighting ones? Cause I don't know how I feel about dynamic punch. Cause what is it like 50% accurate? Oh, close combat. I like close combat a lot. Well, that's gonna go for now. Yeah, we gotta, gotta give you a nickname. I'm gonna keep you around. I'm gonna call you Spin Zone. It's not my best work, but that's not what we're focusing on this evening. Lombre! My God! How, has anyone figured out how to evolve Diplin yet? Please. Evolve Diplin. I want the apple. Someone posted a picture of their Diplin and somebody asked, how'd you do it? And they were like, syrupy apple. And then people were like, where is it? And they just said syrupy apple. No one is telling us where this damn item is. <laughs> oh my God, Swinub. It seems a little warm for you here. Mama Swine, great Pokemon for my Kitakami team. I'll just catch one of you real quick, but then I wanna find this freaking apple and then finish this episode. People are doing it already. I know I don't, like it's clear I don't have to progress the plot that far. I just need this freaking apple. Oh, well I got another reward. I got my little love ball. Okay. Are you serious? Leave me be, demon squirrel. I will eat you. Okay, cutie fly. It's 
saw you earlier. I can I can catch you now. Look at how luminescent, reflective Polyrath is. I respect it. Okay, it's got to be somewhere in the apple orchard, right? I just I just missed it. Maybe one of you can tell me. Look how big they've gotten. What a beaut. Now that's our, okay. No, nope, never mind. Weakening. Super potion. Another tart apple. I found three of those now. Sweet apple. Maybe I do just have to do this. Tart apple. What? Oh, my egg! I forgot about the egg! What? <laughs> what? Are you serious? I thought the starters weren't coming until, I thought the starters weren't coming until Indigo Disc. I'm shook. And it's not one that was already in the game. Like there's, n there's been no raids for any of the Sinnoh starters. Holy crap. Okay, well, remember how I said I was gonna use Polyrath as the fighting type? Uh, <laughs> let's get this little guy evolved. Well, girl, actually. And now I gotta, I gotta do this. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm so, I'm genuinely surprised. I thought it was gonna be like a Togepi or something. Oh, it gets close combat by level up, that's sick. And now I'm about to have freaking Infernape. I'm stunned. <laughs> I, I, I'm still, I can't get over this. Is it, is it Chimchar for everyone? I need to, I need to, what am I gonna call you? I'm gonna have to think about it, but oh my God, I'm so, th I, I, I could not have predicted that. I, I had no, nowhere in my mind whatsoever did I think it was even remotely possible for that to be a starter. And I love it. I'm hyped. Uh, sort by type. There we go. All right, I wanna give it a neutral nature, I think. Do I have a neutral nature mint? I don't know if I do. <laughs> I don't. All right, uh, we'll do that later then. Oh my gosh, a freaking Infernape! You know, if I could just find this syrupy apple, that would be the, the icing on the cake for this episode. Look at all them apples. Why? Why can't I find it? Why is no one online telling me where to find it? Uh, well, I think I picked up every item in this little apple orchard. Wait, someone said I go to the vending machine that sells syrupy apple for 500. A vending machine? With haste, Koridon! If the, the game could have a bit more haste, that would be great. Oh, look at that, Hisuian Arcanine. Or Growlithe, I mean. Vending machine, vending machine, that's a ladder. Vending machine, where are you? Machine. People's houses. I will run in their yards, I do not care, I will trespass, I will do whatever I need to find. This apple. Wait, is that a vending machine? No, that's the online thing. I, is it not outdoors? Oh, is it by the bus stop? No. Where is this damn vending machine? Why do people online not give clear instructions? Is it on top of the building? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Could it be indoors? I can't get in that way. Oh my God, please. Unference room. I'm so distraught. There's a place, there's a building that sells them. Okay, it's not a vending machine. That person was a buffoon. It's a stand near the apple orchard. Okay, how did I miss this? Is it this building right here? Oh, but I got dig. Where is this building in this video? Are there other orchards or something? Am I dumb? I must get higher. I must be able to see, to scope. I'll climb. I'll climb as far as I need to, to get a bird's eye view. I only see that one building. What color is the building? It's a green roofed building that is just not here. I'm so upset. <laughs> Wait, is that it? No, I'm so annoyed that I can't fight this friggin' thing. I'm like looking at this person's video and with just the little mini map trying to figure out where this spot is. Wait, 
I think I found it. I think I figured out where it is. It's here. It's not near the apple farm. It's an individual sole proprietor putting his business in a stupid location in the butt back corner of the map. No, now's not the time, Lotad. And now I have to catch you. That's your, I don't have you in the decks yet. Run, Coridon. Run to the sweet sticky apples. Grab this TM real quick though. Thief. I no, don't run into the tiny bug. Girder. There's just girder on the field. Oh, yes. This is it. This is the location. Syrupy apples. Looks like a shop without a shopkeeper. I will buy one. Yes. Yes. And now I can use the syrupy apple on my shiny applin. Finally. It turns from delicious green to solid gold! Oh, incredible! Diplin is two creatures in one Pokemon. The evolution was triggered by a special apple grow. Oh, I don't care. Fantastic! All right, finally I did it. I did it. I had to become a full-blown internet detective to figure this out. <laughs> because people don't give good instructions. All right, well, I'm gonna get this thing all set up to have good moves, which actually I might wait till tomorrow so I can wake up and hopefully someone has figured out this thing's base stats for me. <laughs> but anyways, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for this episode. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss part two of the teal mask. And I will see you guys for the next one.